Can you believe that Rami Malek wasn't the first choice to play the musical legend Freddie Mercury? Comedian Sasha Baron Cohen was the initial pick for the role. Luckily for the actor, things didn't work out in Sasha's favor because if it weren't for his role in the movie, Rami would have never met the love of his life, Lucy Boynton. Did these lovebirds find comfort in one another because of all the drama that happened on set? And what really happened in that fan-released video that threatened to ruin Malik's career? We did what we were bad, bad, bad boys. Don't forget to subscribe to Rumor Juice and hit that notification bell to stay updated with all our latest videos. If it weren't for Rami's father, his life would have turned out very differently. But unfortunately, his father wasn't able to see Rami succeed in his dream to become an actor. You know, my dad didn't get to see me do uh, any of this. He's, he's not, but I think he's looking down on me right now. Both his parents left Egypt in 1978 and traveled to Los Angeles together. I mean, my family is uh, e Egyptian. I'm a first generation American, so, uh, you know, be, being Egyptian's in the fiber of my DNA and something I'm immensely proud of. However, when Rami confessed to them that he wanted to become an actor, they weren't very supportive. Having moved their family to LA to pursue a better life, they thought it would be better for young Rami to choose a safer career path. I don't think my parents ever thought that being an actor would be the best use of this transatlantic trip of theirs. You know, reshuffling their entire existence so I could take a shot in the arts, Rami admitted. Thankfully, the actor did more than just prove his parents wrong. He made them proud. Rami exploded onto our radars with his Oscar-winning role as Freddie Mercury. Some of you may have known him for his role in Mr. Robot, but if you didn't know him back then, you definitely know him now. Remember we said that Malik wasn't the first choice to play Freddie Mercury? Well, he wasn't. And he almost lost out on the opportunity to star in the movie entirely. Borat star Sasha Baron Cohen was initially offered the role, and he accepted it. So what happened? Well, Sasha had a fallout with one of the members of the Queen Band. Although he didn't mention names, Sasha got into a disagreement with one of the surviving members about the film. According to Cohen, the second half of the movie was originally going to show how the band recovered after Mercury's passing, and he wasn't on board with that. And I said, listen, I go, not one person is going to see a movie where the lead character dies from eight and then you carry on. When Cohen departed the project, Queen guitarist Brian May called him an arse and a liar and indicated that he wanted Ben Wishaw to play Mercury. Thankfully, fate had a different plan, and Rami got the role instead, and everything worked out in the end. Especially for Rami. You know, because he met the love of his life. Yeah, yeah, we know you've been waiting for all the romantic details, and we have them right here for you. In real life, Freddie Mercury's heart was stolen by a woman named Mary Austin, the love of his life. We don't know if this is just a crazy coincidence, but it turned out that Malik fell hard and fast for the woman that portrayed Austin in Bohemian Rhapsody. Crazy, right? We know. The two met on the set of director Brian Singer's Queen biopic. Although the film was riddled with a scandal that resulted in Brian being fired from the production, Lucy could only gush about her newfound beau. She admitted that Malik was professional, poised, and got the entire cast and crew through the whole scandal. According to The Hollywood Reporter, there was an on-set altercation between Singer and Malik. Other reports also alleged that the director's behavior went far beyond arriving late, which caused several costly delays in production. There were also stories alleging that he'd had fiery clashes with Rami. Insiders revealed that the actor made an official complaint about the director after he threw electrical equipment during a heated argument. Rami felt so much like the leader of that set. The cast became so close going through that, as you always do when going through a particularly stressful experience, to put it politely, Lucy shared. According to People, Malik confirmed he was romantically involved with his co-star at the 2019 Palm Springs International Film Festival. When accepting the award for breakthrough performance, the actor thanked the woman who had stolen his heart. You have been my ally, my confidant, you are my love, I appreciate you so much. Boynton was right by Malik's side when he won his Oscar. They embraced in what Twitter quickly determined to be the kiss of the night. She was also one of the many people the actor thanked in his accepted speech, along with his late father. Lucy Boynton, uh, you're the heart of this film. You are 
beyond immensely talented, you have captured my heart. Thank you so much. Malik reportedly fell on the way back to his seat and needed to be checked by paramedics before being given the go-ahead to celebrate the rest of the night at the Oscars after party. The man was quite literally falling at Lucy's feet. Head over heels? We think so. Him winning for his performance was like winning for the tip of the iceberg of everything he had done. You kind of forget that there are hundreds of other people in the room, Lucy shared. In his interview with GQ, Malik shared that his longtime girlfriend is a bath taker, and he bought her a necklace as well as a perfume like deodorant. He sneakily had a salesperson wrap the deodorant in a jewelry box and put the necklace in the goop bag. This will be funny, she'll think I'm being goofy, Malik shared jokingly. A year into their relationship, Boynton opened up about her boyfriend's fame and how it can be very overwhelming for them both once they've been spotted by fans. You were a huge winner because you also walked away with a relationship, huh? Now you're gonna make me shy. Uh -huh. I'm walk away. She explained that it's always great to see people get excited about his work, whether it's from Mr. Robot or his Oscar-winning role. However, when fans get too physical and grab at him in the street, things tend to get out of hand. I mean, you'd never grab a complete stranger in the street, and I think there's a sense of ownership, Lucy explained. We obviously can't forget the awkward moment that went viral with one of his fans. In 2018, Malik found himself caught up in some bad publicity, which is incredibly rare for him, might we add, after he refused to take a video with someone at a Bohemian Rhapsody Q&A event. A 19-year-old fan by the name of Zan Black started filming and got into a close-up shot with Malik. The fan asked if he would say hello to some friends, and well, that's when things got a little awkward. Malik politely declined, suggesting that they take a photo instead. Can you say hi to my friends? Can no, but well, we can take a picture. Oh, sorry. Is that alright? Yep. Thank you. When Black posted the brief video online, it quickly went viral, and the actor was criticized for not accepting the offer to say hello to the fan's friends in the video. When Rami, who is by all accounts one of the nicest actors in the business, according to The Hollywood Reporter, learned about the backlash from his publicist, he watched the video himself. I finally brought myself to watch the video, and I thought, oh, that's not that bad. I don't find myself offensive. I am happy to take photos with anyone. I just want to be aware of what people are doing in the moment. When someone films you automatically, it's a bit intrusive, he explained, which makes sense. We can imagine that being recorded and having cameras shoved in anyone's face would be pretty invasive. When the cut contacted the fan in question to ask about the incident, Black admitted that it was simply bad timing. I think he's a genuine person, and this was not at the right time, because this was at night and he was rushing. I'm sure in a more intimate setting in the daytime, he would be much more approachable. Malik was right by Boynton's side for the premiere of her new Netflix series, The Politician. Both looked stylish and happy, proving that their love wasn't going anywhere. However, in 2020, at the peak of the pandemic, Malik and Boynton spent months not really being photographed out together, which makes sense since not many people were going out anyway. The couple probably enjoyed the time away from the public eye, as did most celebrities. However, a few months later, Malik sparked rumors that all may not be well between him and Boynton. He was photographed without her in Miami while he was partying with friends and a group of women. An eyewitness made it clear to the tabloids that no questionable behavior was happening. Malik was in a great mood and didn't seem to outwardly flirt or be romantic with any of the women, the insider shared. A few days later, Boynton and Malik subtly confirmed that their romance was just fine when they were photographed spending time together at the Hotel Esplanade in Croatia. Boynton had been working in the city, filming her upcoming miniseries, The Ipcrest File, and Malik traveled to see her. Aww, oh, isn't that sweet? No distance is too far to travel to see a special lady. There's no doubt that Rami Malik and Lucy Boynton aren't just another Hollywood couple that met on set and took their romance into real life. This couple is one of the sweetest pairs out there. From Malik's awards season homages to the coordinating outfits, they're giving fans plenty to love every time they step out together. It's clear that Lucy has stolen his heart for good. As for Rami, he's stolen the hearts of fans all over the world. With his latest role as the villain in the new James Bond movie, we can't wait to see even more of him in the near future.